Hello everyone out there. I hope that you all had a wonderful weekend. Now with this message, I'm gonna be a little transparent. I'm gonna do the very best I can to give you the short version <laughs> of this testimony um, because I believe it's gonna bless somebody. Long story, trying to be short. <laughs> 10 years ago in 2012, I was diagnosed um, with what they thought was MS, although now they say it's not that, but I still have a lot of symptoms that I deal with even today. And so when I was first diagnosed in 2012, I stopped doing dance, meaning I stopped teaching dance. I used to teach a lot of Christian dances to different youth organizations, even adult dance ministries. I, I used to choreograph dances for. I stopped doing it when I got that diagnosis and a couple of weeks ago, I was in a church meeting through Zoom and we were t discussing things to do to kind of get the youth department up and running again, get it revived. During the meeting, I heard God say, I, it's time for you to teach a dance again to the youth. And I was just like, oh my gosh, no. I was like, are you serious? God, are you sure? And I actually was kind of like mouthing this conversation to God during the Zoom meet. I don't know if anybody saw it or not, but I was just like, oh, okay. I went on and told them that I'll teach a dance to the youth for the youth day. And I was like, I don't know what I just got myself into, but I feel like God wants me to do that. I said that to myself. Last week, I recorded the dance for them to do. Now, mind you, in the last few months, especially, my body has really been challenged dealing with, you know, um, the injury as well as um, a lot of trauma that my body went through after so much emotional um, trauma that I dealt with in the last couple of years, losing my husband, losing my job, losing my car because I lost my job and I'm praying I don't lose my home now. Um, so y'all pray for my finances, by the way. But anyways, um, I went through a lot of trauma that affected me also physically. And my body has not really been able to consistently be active in doing normal things, not even dance, forget dancing, just doing normal things, right? Um, so for God to tell me it was time to do that, I was just kind of like, are you sure? <laughs> but anyways, before I started recording a dance, I prayed and I asked God, I said, okay, God, you want me to do this. So I need you to give me the strength to do this. And I knew I needed to record the dance three times because I had to give three um, angles of the dance for the students, for the kids, for, for the dance to make sense. And so anyways, um, by the third time, though, you can see my energy was <laughs> was very low, but I did it and I got through it. When I was done, my body was going through all kinds of changes that scared me at first. But I found out, um, well, actually, let me just say this. God was letting me know that it was a good thing that my body was just, you know, in this healing process. And then I found out scientifically that that's what was really happening. And God told me afterwards, he said, you were built for this. You were built for this. I created you to do these different things. And because you have not been active in doing those different things um, lately, and even within the last decade with the dance part, that's why your body has been shutting down in a way because you stopped doing what you were created to do or one of the things that you were created to do because he's given me a lot to do and so i just was like wow so i share all of that with you to say there could be somebody out there i don't know if it's physical as well but you feel like certain things in your life has been shutting down whether it's your physical health whether it's mentally, whether it's your finances, whether it's relationally, I don't know what it is, 
But I feel like God is saying because you stopped doing what you were built to do, that's why things have been shutting down. So in order to get those things to start working again in your life, you got to start doing what you were built to do, what you were created to do. Because God is the one that created you and for a purpose. And even your body knows when you are not doing what you were created to do. And it's, it begins to shut down. It begins to die. It's like you, you're like the walking dead. You know what I mean? But when you begin to do those things that you were created to do, your body revives itself. Right? Because there's life in it again. The life that it was created to be. If that makes any sense to you, I pray that it does make sense to you. So only you know what that is. If you come across this video and this video is for you, you know what that thing is or those things are that you're supposed to be doing that you stop doing. That's why those the different areas in your life are shutting down. You've got to get back at it. And speaking of being used by God for a purpose um, and using your gifts, and what he's created you to, to do and created you to be. I have this free resource for those that do not know what their gifts are and or don't know what their purpose for their gifts are. I created a free resource for you. Um, make sure you click on the link below if you're on YouTube to grab it's free. It's a free resource and it's, it's a call to action type thing. It's not just something for you to read. You have to take action. <laughs> in order to um, get what you need from it, okay? But if you're on TikTok and you hear this, just go to the YouTube icon in the bio, the one that looks like a play button. Click there to go on the same video on my YouTube channel and click on the link below. So you can grab that because I know God has created everyone for a purpose. And only when you begin to operate in that purpose using what he's put inside of you, that's when you're going to begin to start seeing some breakthroughs of those things that have seemed to shut down. They're going to be revived again. Okay. All right. So I pray that this message blesses you as much as the testimony itself has blessed me. And you all have a wonderful day today. I pray that you stay safe out there. You guys, please continue to stay safe in the best way that you can so that you can also keep others safe as well. All right. So you all be blessed and I'll talk to you again really, really soon. Be blessed.